a strange guy. I am? Yeah. I can't figure out just why. You know, it's funny. Out of nowhere, you walked into a bar, bought me a drink, got into a fight. Now look where we are. Yeah. Where are we? I know where I am. Sitting out here in a car by the beach with a man I only met an hour ago. I guess that's not so good, is it? You sorry you came? No. I like you. Do you think I'd come out here with you if I didn't? No, I guess not. Well, let's take a walk. Walk? Yeah, down by the water. It's a beautiful night. All right. Come on, I'll race you to the water. <laughs> Wait, I can't run any tea. Look too bad at all. It's a perfect fit. Oh, but this wool blanket. What's the matter? Are you kidding? I've got practically nothing on under this. It scratches. Take it off. Oh, sure. I can see you're going to force me to be a gentleman and offer you my coat. But uh, first, you better have some of this. Don't you think we've had enough? We've already fallen in the water once tonight. I'm sorry about what happened. Forget it. I think it's kind of fun. That is, if I don't get pneumonia. Don't worry. That they can cure. The common cold that still baffles the medical profession. That, among other things. Of course, I could take you home. Don't be silly. I can't go home like this. We'll have to stay here until my clothes dry out. You're so right. I could uh, use that coat now. All right, trade you. Coat for the blanket. Come on now. Put it around my shoulders. All right.
Here. Yeah, another attack. I've got some wonderful news for you, Gil. You remember Dr. Jacob Hoffman? Hoffman? Yes, you remember him. He and your father went to school together. Dr. Bakel knows him, too. So what? Well, Dr. Hoffman's been studying radiation poisoning for a long time. He's been able to cure a lot of people. After you left, Dr. Bakel wrote him about you. We got a letter from him, and he's coming to help you. Don't you realize what this means? He may be able to cure you. It's no use, Anne. But, Gil! I'm beyond help, Anne. This thing I've got is different. Days I've been reading everything I could find. My case is different. It's not in any of the books. They can't be cured in. But you can't stay locked up here for the rest of your life. What else can I do? Dr. Hoffman has offered to come here and examine you. You won't even have to leave the house. He'll be here this afternoon. I can drive him up to see you. Please, Gil. Won't do any good. Please, Gil. You can't just give up. You've got to at least see him. He's come all this distance. Oh, please, Anne, please, just let me alone. 